We call it Oluwaku. That basically was represented with about three powerful white card sheep. In Tajudin, Abisogun, Ojo of Lagos, Iwaidi, Ayeni, Tashore of Lagos. She is Ikule Bali, Uru Oja Konde of Lagos, and the staff of office here. We have a list of many royal fathers. Yes, hungry, hungry. We have His Royal Majesty, Oba Doctor Siaka Adio, Palogun Oyero, Oba of Ketu Kingdom. That is still. We have. Another good friend that they enforced me to become a traditional ruler. But we have been together for a long time. The Alabado of Abado Kingdom, His Royal Majesty of Ashilion Adedayo, Togolu, the Alabado of Abado Kingdom. We have The Uru of Olomowe Kingdom, Abadu Ifo, His Royal Majesty, Oba Shofa, Tofela, Onale Kan, Tunde, Abi Isio. We have a Uru of Odudu, of Odudu Kingdom. Three days ago, they were in Odua House to grace the occasion of commissioning of Odua House, part of the program line up for this target and was His Royal Majesty of Paulusha Gomensi, the Ulojodu of Ujodu Kingdom. We have another a friend and other who is very close to us too. The only local of the local kingdom of the state, His Royal Majesty of a boy, you love a local abyss, a people who you have his royal majesty of a lot of people. I do it. Okay, we have the high sheet Ajayi for a lot of someone who represents. In DG of Nikon here. We have the representative of the chairman of vocation. Pardon me if I don't follow protocol. I come on color on the dipe representing the chairman of the day of the master of being a former governor of the state. We have the Guyan Treasurer from Nigeria Institute of International Affairs, Victoria Anna, Professor Femi Otubanjo, the guest speaker. We have someone who was my lecturer before. He showed you of my department in Lagos State University. Now, Chairman Government Council of Obafemi, Awolowo University, in Ileze. Professor Shion Uyeweso, Group Reviewer of today. We have one person that is so familiar to Yoruba people. Is this a journalist? That when you mention his newspaper, it will not be strange to any Yoruba person. Publisher of Alaroye, Chief Alao, 
I We have uh, one of the people that trained us as an activist that we started together, although they started before me, I joined them in 1993. He was a student union product from University of Illinois and he's our leader when we are in campaign for democracy. Dr. Kyo Oke Udumaki, President of Human Rights. Eba me fungo go, I want to go in here and tell you what to do. Ube Ichi, we're going to be late. So, we're going to be Yes. They come on, we're going National Executive Council, all members of the National Committee Council, and all the ambassadors of Ulu Confessional Foundation here, said, and all leaders and members of Southwest. Security stakeholders group here. Okay, we go you. I get in car that come into the area. I want to go to bed for a night. Then let go and leave you go. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this historic event. I am also very excited that God has kept us alive to celebrate this special day in the life of our noble organization, the Oba People's Congress OPC. Let me begin by expressing my sincere appreciation to all our guests, beginning from our royal fathers, the Arole Oba, and the on of Ife. And his Imperial Majesty, his Imperial Majesty of Adiyeni from Ogunsi, and all and other royal fathers that are here present. I appreciate all the six governors from the Southwest region, the Chairman of the day, former Governor of Ogun State, Otuma Senator Benga Dane, the guest speaker, Professor Olufemi Otukaindo, from the Nigeria Institute of International Affairs, Victoria Ena. Lagos. The book reviewer, Professor Shion Oyeweso, who is also the Chairman Governing Council of Athena Olawa University in Lefe, Ocean State. Our esteemed cleric, men of God, leaders of all civil society groups that are here present, CEO of various corporate organizations, all Yoruba social cultural organizations, and their representatives, members of the fourth estate of the realm. This is a day to buy you with the long speech. Ever been at the back when you buy you with the long speech, but oh, just 15 minutes. It is a special day for us to thank God, and it does because God has really been faithful to the world people's Congress office. However, I will not fail to go down the memory lane and reflect how the journey began exactly 30 years ago. A goal. The struggle started in July 1993, shortly after the annulment of the June 12, 1993 election that was believed to have been won by late Are Moshidu Kashima Uku Olawale Abiola. As a member of Campaign for, for Democracy CD, then we decided that that was need for us to have a regional group that will have a national outlook and also reflect the structure of the organization. The Yoruba Youth Movement was established April 1994. For that same year, especially on Monday, August 29, 1994, the Yoruba People's Congress OPC came to life as a social cultural organization 
that was fought to protect the interests of the Yoruba people. The journey was rough and tough. But to the glory of God today, OPC are transited to formidable organization that has since become the pride of Yoruba race. You can testify that from the speech of the shaman of the day, read by Akobo Kola Onopipe today. Like a proverbia, our country, OPC has grown from a just group of activists to become a local tree that has survived years of trial and tribulations. Today, the organization that began at 110 Palm Avenue Street, pushing here in Lagos, has over 7 million members across Nigeria in 28 states. Thank to all our members for their commitment and determination to ensure that OPC takes its pride and place in Yoruba land and Nigeria as a whole. In the course of our journey as an organization, many of our members pay the spring price. Many lost their life, loved ones, so that we can get to where we are today. On this note, I respectfully, I respectfully ask our guests to rise and come up the following heroes in our members. I want to May their gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. And they do call on God bless you. It is also very important to say it here today that OPC has succeeded in doing justice to the story of the organization. We are determined to make possible impacts in Yoruba land and Nigeria. We know quite well that every aspect of the organization trajectory is a product of academic research that must be documented in a book. Interestingly, the book we are presenting to the public today is the thought that have been written on the activities of OPC and my personal life experience. I want to assure you all that as we make progress in life, more books are still coming. OPC has survived the black area of the military, several years of police torture, provocation and brutality, as well as negative propaganda for many of our producers. History will not forget History will not forget my personal experience when I was declared wanted for 20 months in 2001 and 2005. Before I hand over myself to the police in the Wutu police station in the Kurudu, as well as my 18 month experience in detention in different prisons across Nigeria. The tradition of OPC is also made up my stone in Yoruba land. In the last couple of years, the Yoruba Social Cultural Organization has done well in our effort to secure Yoruba land. We have also established a group of 13 security outfits with the name Southwest Security Stakeholder Groups. This group includes OPC, Abekoya, Vigilante Group of Nigeria, CONSAC, ONTA, Ebbe Obilin Odua Vaye, among others. The mandate of the different organizations under my leadership is to work our modality to secure the Southwest. We have sought the approval of the Southwest government to partner with them in covering the security search. If the Southwest government allows us to partner with them, I'm still repeating it today that we are ready to partner with the government to stop out the spate of insecurity across the Southwest. In the last three decades, OPC has demonstrated quality leadership as a social cultural organization. We have our members as devotees of three prominent religions in Nigeria. All our members practice their religion 
with moderation. As I stand before you, I'll be honored with prominent religion types, both from Christian and Muslim folks. It boils down to the fact that OPC is liberal in our religion, belief, and practice. Just last week, we celebrate Yoruba Heritage Day as an organization like the victory we got with June 12th in the view of Democracy Day in Nigeria. It is also on record that OPC has succeeded in promoting the religion of our forebearers by recognition of the August 20 Isheshe Day in four out of the six states in the southwest. And then for a later warning. About our leader OPC, we will go to CB. I will go to CB. Let me tell you also that OPC has created a niche for itself by expanding the frontier of its activities through the formation of Oda Progressive Union, OPU. Today, OPU, our sister organization that was created in 2012, is now in 100 countries across six continents of the world. The diaspora organization is now one of the leading organizations in the world. I'm happy to tell you today that all Yoruba sons and daughters abroad are proud to be a member of OPU, Oduwa Progressive Union. Other groups that God have established through the through me include Yoruba One Voice and the Southwest Security Stakeholder SSSG. I want to answer you. 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 A Southwest Security Stakeholder Leader, a leader, a leader, a leader, a Part of our success story in the last 30 years is one billion naira legacy project, Odwa House, that was commissioned last Tuesday. It is also interesting to tell our guests that OPC under my leadership as the IRA on the Qatar for of Yoruba Land and the National Coordinator still have edifice in Olusoga Mushi, Olusoga Mushi, Evangelist popular, although one thing but Olusoga Street, A 21 apartment. Four suits and 19 rooms in Labekuta was built by this organization. And the old war hall in Ilepe is under construction. We have OPC building in New York and Kuala State. They are landed property in Udo. Why the Kixi State is still ongoing? Going forward, it is our intention to have at least one or two buildings of OPC across Southwest and even beyond. As far as, as we consign, the OPC will continue to be, to be the leading organization in Yoruba and Nigeria. We will continue to project the interests of Yoruba race and will never fail in our effort to promote the cultural identity of our race. As we continue to keep the hope alive, it will be stated also that our goal and the seven key contents of our struggle are clearly defined. This includes advocating restructuring for Nigeria, protecting life and property, promotion of Yoruba culture and identity, defending the interests of Yoruba race, playing a major role in cultural tourism, rendering humanitarian service and promoting the youth empowerment program among others. Still on the position of restructuring. As we gather here today, it, it is very important for me to tell the whole world about the position of OPC on the state of the nation. Nigeria has lost its pride of place in Africa. Our nation has continued to lose grip of what makes it the giant among the community of nations in Africa. It is obvious that Nigeria is no longer the giant of Africa. With the, with the way things are going. Other African countries like South Africa, Egypt, are coming up with the great nation 
on the African continent. However, our major problem is the structural imbalance. As far as OPC is concerned, there is need for restructuring in Nigeria. The restructuring must be tied to regionalism with the repression of 1960 and 1963 constitution, where all the CBO political zone can develop at their own pace. This will reduce burden on federal government. It will enhance the social economic progress in Nigeria. We are in a very difficult situation now in the country. And if we didn't restructure Nigeria now, in the next few years, Nigeria may go down as the 20 economic nation in Africa. This is the reality of the present situation in the country as it's central on the structural imbalance as a, as a nation. Over the years, we have long lists of prominent personalities that have supported our struggle as an organization. Many are, that, many are dead and their memory are evergreen. For those who are still alive, we will continue to appreciate them. Prominent people like late Chief Ganifa Emi S.A.N., late Justice Adewale Thompson, late Ambassador Sheikh Borushola, Professor Sophie Oluwale, my good friend and Anthony Ferris Craig, late Yinka Odumaki of the Blessed Memory, Professor Walesho Yinka, Chief Femi Falano, S.A., Barisa Femi Abolishadi, my lawyer, Barisa Kendi Oluwale, and Ebun Adeborua, S.A.N. and a few other lawyers that stood by me during the trying moments. Dr. Joe Odumaki has always been supportive and consistent with us since 2001, especially each time we hold June 12 Memorial, Memorial Lecture. It is also interesting to know that OPC is blessed with two brilliant lawyers who are members of the National Executive Council of the Organization. They are Chief Babagide Tanimo Owu, the National General Secretary, and Chief Atoloye, Atoloye Areo Nokaka of Yoruba Land. The second one was Yinka Shibiyinka Obutinei, who is also the Publicity Secretary of OPC, and the Ashoju Are Onokaka of Yoruba Land. He's also another fantastic lawyer in our midst. We also have Mary Dioro Shibada Askurai, who is the Administrative Secretary of OPC. Members of OPC National Executive Council and also wonderful people are also wonderful people in their respective area of life. Let me say it that in different times in the history of OPC, many of our past governments in Southwest also did their best to support us during the administration of executive governor of their respective states. Prominent among them is the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashadibola Amenchinubu, who was then the governor of Lagos State between 1999 and 2007. Others are Ogbeni Rauf, late Abiola Adumobi, who was the governor of Oyo State, when I became a real Nokakafu of Yoruba land. The late Tarakoni Rotimi Akredolu, Akiwomi Ambodi, late Olusegu Agagu, Kayode Fayemi, and late Alao Atala and Ibikule Amusu. I will not fail to appreciate the Oyo State Governor, Engineer Shihimakinde, for appointing me as ambassador of Ojo State Amotekun. As the ambassador, the governor gave me a brand new ELOX, pilot automobile, with three members of the corps as part of my security men, and the state take care of their remuneration to date. The chairman of today's event, Otumba Senator Green Radani, has always been there for us. He deserves our applause for facilitating the March 9, 2005 peace 
no between late Dr. Fashion and I during the crisis period of OPC. Of great note is the support of our traditional owners. Our owners have also supported us tremendously in driving the cultural promotion activities of OPC. KBC on Shigurade Orubuse must be remembered for his support when he was arrived. The late Tony was the one that granted our request to start a World Festival in Ilife. Meanwhile, the honor of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Obadeye, Enito, Ogubushi, has been the symbol of unity and cultural promotion of Yoruba race. The late Allah of Yoruba, His Imperial Majesty, Obadamidi, Adeyemi, deserve prominent applause as he did everything that is possible to make sure that Yoruba respected globally. Kabi is Allah of me, Against all odds, appoint me as the area of Kakaufu of Yoruba. May the soul of Kabesi of Banamidi and the Emil rest in perfect peace. Amen. There are other Yoruba social cultural organizations, like the Afeni Ferry, Yoruba Council of Elders, YCE, Yoruba Unity Forum, funded by late chief Mrs. Anna Idowu. Idelu, Awolowo, Egbeomo Yoruba in U.S. and Canada, the Nigerian media, and a few others that support us through the Think and Think. We appreciate you all. The Karakoya area of Nakata for Yoruba land, Professor Kola Wale Rahim, who is also the chairman of the planning committee of the 30th anniversary of OPC, former chief press secretary to two governors, Olu State Governor, late Olu Shegun Adagu, Arakunri, Roti Miyake Edelu, Shif Shegun Adiboye, who is the October of Ari Onukakampo of Yorubana, Barisa Wale Odolare, Shif Gani, Kao Debalogun, Osi, Gani, Kao Debalogun, Osi Ari Onukakampo of Yorubana, Komre Shinon, Lomereko, as being a friend of the house, Ambassador Dikin, Bayo, Obatum Gwashi, and Olubenga Onosoya, another ambassador of Olokun Festival Foundation, all former beauty queens, and my new wife, and you by joy and your midday others. We thank all members of OPU from across 100 countries in the world, and all members of Yoruba One Voice, prominent scholars like the guest lecturer, lecturer, the guest lecturer Professor Olufemi Otubangyo usually add value to our program as a guest speaker. The university across that place has also contributed greatly to our scholarship program by giving us the name of brilliant student, indigenous students that are eligible for our scholarship program. And as I have said, as I have said earlier, the list is inexhaustible. Two numerals to mention. Finally, as I stand before you today, I want to assure you all that OPC will continue to grow in leaps and bounds. Our organization will, will not relent in our effort to protect Yoruba against internal and external forces. We will continue to defend the interests of Yoruba people in Nigeria. And we will always seek the truth, justice, and fairness. It, as it is, that is the best legacy we can leave. Leave our generation that is coming. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. There are a lot of dignitaries here that, if I have to recognize all, then my less than five minutes or three minutes will be up. But today, I recognize each and every one on the service table representatives of governors, the chairman of today's occasion, the book reviewer, and our own dear Aimba Ike Gane Adams. Today, I also want to recognize the arrowhead of OPC, 
the person that I was in the trenches with for over three decades. Myself and Are Ghani Adams, then at the Maria, who moved with Nyeka Odumaki, we moved from one media house to the other, giving out releases. But as at the time it was declared wanted for 20 months, it was on the ground. During my own time, Dr. Beckman and some Kuti kept me in his house. On the day I was arrested, I was mistaken for the daughter. I escaped. Then I went to Femi Falano's house, stayed with the wife. The day I was to be cited, I left the place again. I ended up at Alagon. From Alagon to Kirikiri, from there to Inter Center, from there to SSS headquarters, with several other places that I was in. But one thing I can say about the arrowhead of this mass movement, that during that, those dark days of military despondency, Are Ghani Adams remained selfless. In fact, it was like a myth. They were looking for him everywhere. He was a rallying point and an organizer of men and women. That's why today I'm extremely happy to be here. And I know that Nyeka Udumaki too will have been happier to be here. The last official assignment that Nyeka Udumaki went for was in Are Ghani Adam's house. They had programs. He never gave up and he was greatly attached to Are. So also, for those three decades that have known Are, I can go to the battle to, with my eyes closed because I know that Are will never ever disappoint anyone. Today, I want to congratulate the several million members of OPC. OPC has its presence also around the globe. I want to congratulate everyone and I want to tell you and I want you to realize that you have a leader who stands like an Iroko that will never betray, tested and trusted. The challenge really is that there must be unity. There is strength in unity. OPC must remain united, restructuring must still remain that battle cry because it's not yet to rule. What keep away your toe, toe, what see be by you, any lanche or bon or do near OPC. Never go away in your see more more at see at the battle of the city better. What go and what to that land, what to balance. Professor Fu, go go away in your toe and pure. We pay a red toa, nibi by toje a dari OPC. Oh, dalleri. And it was a dalle, oh, my bale, no. Ni pari, mo fe, ki e mo pe, OPC. Oti wa, oti, oti wa ni, inu we tu wo kosi, go go kon, ti OPC ti she ni, ok wan jo, oh, lanka. Kin she ara ita lo ko o, ara ile lo ko, e ni yi, mo ki yi pe e po ri re, yin ka o du ma ki yi ni bito wa, o mo na ki yi pe e po ri re. Thank you very much. I know that victory is certain. Thank you for this opportunity. Ka bi e si o, ki a de pe lo ri, ki pa ta pe le se. Inde ke ne yo, indi go cha no be ni, da lo no. Good afternoon, a castle, uh, Latio, the governor of Lego, and addressed by the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babaji de Olushala Sonwolu, at the grand finale of the 30th anniversary 
of the Odua People's Congress, held on Thursday, 29th of August, 2024, at 10 Degrees Event Center, Oregon, Ikeja, Lagos State. Protocol, all protocols will be observed. It is with immense honor and a deep sense of privilege that I stand before you today at this momentous occasion, the grand finale of the 30th anniversary of Odua People's Congress. Today, we gather not just to celebrate a milestone, but to have a sense about a journey marked by commitment, resilience, and unwavering dedication to the ideals of unity, progress, and cultural pride. The OPC has been a significant force in our region, known for its role as a Yoruba nationalist, regionalist, and vigilante organization. Recognized also as the Odua, Liberation Movement or the Revolutionary Council of Nigeria, the Odua People Congress has maintained a strong grassroots presence within the Yoruba ethnic community and its impact has been felt across southwestern Nigeria. Founded by a visionary group of Yoruba elites and artisans, including the esteemed Dr. Frederick Fashion, who became its first national leader, the OPC was born out of a profound mission to actualize the annulled mandate of Chief Moshud Kashima Olawale Abiola. This pivotal movement in our history spurred the formation of an organization dedicated not only to upholding the democratic aspirations of that period, but also to championing the values and interests of the Yoruba people. Under the leadership of Dr. Fashion, the OPC found its unity and strength. A strategic appointment of Otumba Gani Adams as national coordinator was a master stroke that unified various factions within the organization while it maintained its president and founding father. Even after the passing of Dr. Fashion, the OPC continued to evolve staying to its true founding principle and vision of identifying with our historical and cultural origins. The organization's dedication to reviving the glory of our past, educating and mobilizing the descendants of Odubua, and integrating their aspirations and values into a collective platform for future generations has been unwavering. As we reflect on the past three decades, we are reminded of the tremendous strides that OPC has made in advocating for the rights of our people and promoting a sense of identity and belonging. Your efforts in fostering regional development and empowering communities have not gone unnoticed. The OPC's contribution has been instrumental in addressing key issues and driving change across our state and beyond. This anniversary is not only a time for celebration, but also an opportunity to reaffirm our collective commitment to the vision of a prosperous and equitable society. The challenges of the past have forged a path for future growth, and it's through collaboration and mutual respect that we will continue to build on this legacy. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I use this opportunity to congratulate the Odua People's Congress on reaching this remarkable milestone. Your dedication, and hard work have set a shining, a shining exa example for all of us and I am deeply appreciative of the role of the OPC as, that has played in advocating the rights and interests of our people and contributing to cultural and social economic development of our region. As we look to the future, let us remain steadfast in our commitment to unity and progress. The journey ahead will undoubtedly bring new challenges but it also presents boundless opportunities. It is through our collective efforts, shared vision, and unwavering dedication that we will overcome obstacles and seize these opportunities. Let us continue to work together, and in the spirit of cooperation, mutual respect that has brought us this far. By doing so, we will ensure that the values and goals of the Dua People's Congress continue to thrive and inspire future generations. In closing, I extend my warmest congratulations once again to OPC on this significant anniversary. May the legacy of your work continue to I'm shine talking. brightly and may we all move forward with renewed vigor and determination to achieve a greater Lagos rising. I'm talking. And thank you all for listening. Signed, Mr. Babaji De Oshola Songolo, Executive Governor of Lagos State. Thank you very much. That is a personal letter signed by Prince Dabo Abiodun, 
COA, the governor of Ogun State, on the 30th, on the 30th anniversary of the Odua People's Congress, OPC. On behalf of my family, the government and the good people of Ogun State, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to you and the entire membership of the Odua People's Congress, OPC, on the remarkable occasion of your 30th anniversary holding today. There is no case saying the fact that this occasion is symbolic, not just for the number of years, but also for the significant achievement the OPC has recorded in the past 30 years. As an organization, the OPC has played a pivotal role in preserving and promoting Yoruba cultural heritage and advocating for the right and welfare of Yoruba people in the past three decades. Your unwavering commitment to the cause of justice, equity, and self-determination has left an undeniable mark on the social, political landscape of our nation. The journey of the OPC from its inception to becoming a more formidable force in the defense of Yoruba interest is a testament to the free vision, courage, and resilience of the leadership and members. The organization has not only been a custodian of our rich cultural heritage, it has contributed significantly to the peace, security, and most importantly, the unity of the Yoruba in the Southwest Nigeria. As you celebrate this milestone, I commend you, the organization, for his steadfastness, while I encourage you to continue the advocacy with the same dedication, commitment, and vigor that had brought you this far. I wish to place on record that the government of Ogu State remain committed to supporting initiatives that promote the welfare of our people and preservation of our cultural values. Therefore, on this momentous occasion, it is my prayer that the OPC Odua People's Congress will continue to work stronger and remain a beacon of hope and symbol of unity to Yoruba race. Once again, please accept my heartfelt congratulations and assurances of my highest regard as always. Thank you, Prince Dako Adiodun, C.O.N. We are very, very happy today. I read it when it was sent to me online. And the book is well written. And those involved have done their research very well. I, as a professor of political science, what I find interesting most is the political aspect and the political development of OPC and the influence in Yoruba land. Now, 
as a person myself, as a Yoruba man, I have been following Gami Adams very, very closely. Not because he gave me money, I just love his courage and his boldness. Because without courage, we will not take the next step that's going to get us to the promised land. This man, Dr. Gany Adams, our Kanfo, is a man of many parts. And God has good energy and strength. And the book is to recognize the development of an institution. OPC has become an institution in Yoruba land. And nobody can say is second to none. Abeni Perry is there, full of old people. They have not recruited young ones. And Ghani Adams have managed to keep the old ones as well as recruit new ones. And the OPC is waxing strong. I am highly tempted to join the OPC officially. So I will, I will go forward to that side and open it from there. So I want to launch the book in the name of the Almighty God, the Magnificent, the Creator of heaven and earth. And we want everybody to have one, the chairman of the occasion, Iba Gany Adams, please, madam, please. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, go. No. Ah, please. Okay. Can be Please. Yeah. Now, the prof. Please. In the name of Almighty God, the Magnificent. I launched this book on behalf of Iba Gani Adams with 50,000. Those are small. Professors are not well paid in Nigeria, but I will contribute my little uh, quota. So I launched the book with 50,000 Naira. Thank you. The chairman of the occasion wants to say something. Well, I've been covered there by the RA himself. Uh, on behalf of the chairman whom I'm representing today, um, he's a man that loves reading. He has so many libraries. And I believe that um, um, 20 copies for each of the library, especially in each of the government of this uh, senatorial district in Ogun State. Uh, I launched this uh, 20 copies each for the local government libraries in each of the Ogun East senatorial districts. I've launched it now. Well, the cost of that between the chairman and Are, they will sort it out. I think it's well launched, 20 copies each for the each of the local government. There are nine local government in the Ogumi Central District, by the way. Thank you. Ordinarily, we don't want to make it as long shift. We reflect both presentation on the book. But uh, the VIP will go to their seats. Some copy will be a complimentary copy. For those who have to see copy to their library, I think they will pay good amounts. So I think that's the way we want to handle it. Because uh, when we continue saying launching, launching, next time you read, want to write another book, 
you call against they will not come there. So that's why we made it book presentation. Thank you very much.